the drag tool is a very common tool used to manipulate geometry. It works similar to the move tool, except it's limited to uh, the points that are underneath the cursor. So if I were to use the move tool, I could move the geometry. Uh, I could select the geometry I want to move, hit T for move, and move it. Uh, but if I wanted to use the drag tool, the drag tool would allow me to, without anything selected, only move what's underneath the cursor. So I could move some of these points around, tweak them, and I don't have to keep selecting and deselecting. If I don't want to be able to uh, drag something by accident, whatever I have selected, if I go to Control T, which is the shortcut key for drag, I would be able to move those points around, but if I come over here to something that's not selected, I can't move it. Okay, so by having something selected, it limits me to selecting, to dragging just those. And that comes in handy if you have uh, a lot of geometry, say, behind this. You have a three-dimensional object and you've got some uh, points on points. Well, just select the area that you want to be working within, and you'll only be able to drag that. Now, in addition to the drag tool, there's the snap drag tool. I'm going to deselect these polygons, but it works the same way as far as the selection goes. But I'm going to come over to Translate More, Snap Drag. And with the Snap Drag, let me zoom in so we can get a really good look at this. Snap Drag will work the same way as far as drag goes where I'm moving it around, but it'll snap it to the grid. It'll also, the grid, that's kind of nice, so if you want to line something up, you can snap it to the grid. Uh, but what's really handy is it'll snap to other points. So if you needed these to line up perfect uh, and then later merge these, I can snap these right to the points. Okay, so that's the snap drag tool. Now, there are a few options that are good to know. Let me undo. And let's go to in for numeric. Okay, the, uh, the drag set, well, by default it's set to one point, so it works just like the, the drag tool, except, of course, it's snapping to either the grid or the other points, which, again, the other points, that's just priceless. But if we go over to our options, if we go connected points, it will drag not only the point that's underneath the cursor, but all points that are connected. Okay, so if I were to grab this, I could move everything just by grabbing the one point. Okay, and that's connected points. I'd, I could also uh, select all points and everything in this layer that's selected will move. So if I wanted to uh, come way over here and drag it down to match the grid, I could and it's got everything because the drag set is set to all points. Okay, and then one last option which it has to do with the perspective window and that's the view alignment only. And the view alignment only, uh, with that option selected, points will be snapped to approximately align with the other points along an axis perpendicular to the viewport, uh, but not fully in three dimensions. So it, it allows you to work much easier with, uh, with, oops, let me change this back to one point, much easier in the perspective window with the uh, snap drag. Okay, so very, did you see that it, it worked in that one window, that one view? So do you see whenever I was in that view, it snapped. But if I wanted to snap it to here, see, it's not in that view. If I turn that off and snap it, see how it's snapping to, uh, to the point in all, in 3D space? So again, let's just, let's just take a quick look at that. So I'm going to angle it like this, and it's snapping to the point in this view. But then when I go like this, when I change my view, it's not going to uh, actually be right on the point. It was right on the point from the angle I was looking. So usually I keep this off and by, by default it's off. And we can just snap that here, snap that here. So I'm able to, with the snap drag, know that I'm placing these points right on top of the other points. Whereas with the drag tool, it's a free drag move so that it, it could look like it's close, but it wouldn't be snapping to those points. So I can get these all lined back up again, uh, just like that. Okay, so that's the snap drag function and the drag function.